guys, this is Dr. Canadian from InfinityLogic.net today. Um, we're going to be doing a tutorial on C++ file input output. I've gone ahead and already created a solution and just made a uh, blank CPP file. So to get started, we're just going to include IO string and string to allow us to do basic input output to the console and use strings. And then the new one that we're going to add is F string, which allows us to work with file input output. Alright, so there we go. Now that we have the outline of our program, we're going to go ahead and uh, start creating some variables. First, I'm going to just put return zero at the end. Alright, there we go. So the first variable we're going to need is um, a string to hold the file name that the user is going to create. So we'll call this file name. The next one we're going to need is a um, char user input for uh, 512 bytes. This is going to uh, hold the input for the user to save to the file. The reason we're using a uh, char array is so the um, console will take in the spaces, the everything that user types. So instead of, if we were to use a string to hold that and use the in, what would happen is the user would type a sentence and the only thing that would get saved to the file is the first word with the space. So if the user were to type hello space world, the only thing that would be saved to the file is hello. So, we'll go ahead and create that variable. We'll call it user input. And five foot. The next thing we're going to need is a string read buffer to allow us to open the file and use that as a buffer for our text to read line by line. We'll call this read buffer. So the next thing we're going to um, do is kind of a little intro to let the user know to type um, the name of the file that we'll be creating to save the information to and then read off. Backslash on for a new line, and then I'll put the file name for the line you can see in the file name. And cn.get to prevent it from automatically accepting enter as our input for the uh, text to save the file. comes the part where we're not going to use cn, we're going to use um, cn.getLine. This is again to prevent it from only getting the first um, string in the um, line of text. So what we're going to be getting is user input, and that's where we're going to be storing it. We're going to store that for the first 512 bytes. 
So if that's long enough that the user's not gonna be typing out like a whole paragraph before they submit to try the small program. I mean, if you were to write a bigger program, then that might become important, the buffer size, but for us, it's not too important today. So the next thing we're going to do is use OF stream, which is for um, opening a file and uh, writing to it. So what that actually stands for is output file stream. And we're going to call it write to file. So keep everything simple for you guys. So we're going to write file dot open, and we're going to open the file name that the user has specified. If it's um, if it doesn't exist, the program will automatically create it for us. And output to a file is fairly simple, so it's the same as using um, CN and CO. So we just use the two um, left brackets and um, user input, and that will output the user input that we got from here into the text file. And now that we've um, used up, or we've done everything we can with that file to clean everything up, we're just gonna go ahead and close the file stream. Didn't mean to do that, my thoughts not to screw in with me. There we go. So now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and uh, clear the screen to print out what the user has entered into the file. We're going to go ahead and let them know what we're opening, just to you know, show that we're actually reading from the file, we're not just repeating what they typed out in a variable, so we didn't save it anywhere other than that file. There we go. So now that we've let them know, we're going to go ahead and use IF stream, which is um, input file stream. So we're getting input from it. And we're going to call that um, read from file again to keep things simple. And I guess I'll put capitals to make it look a little bit bigger. And we're going to need to let the stream know what file we will be opening. And again, we'll just use file name, the variable. So now that we have it open, we need to read it line by line. So to do this, we're going to use an if um, statement to read while the file is open. And then while it's not the end of the file, we're going to read it line by line. So I'll go ahead and type this out, and I'll explain it after. So, like I said, we're using an if statement to read from the file if it's open. And, you know, if we weren't able to get it open, um, either the user didn't have permission to read or write to this file, and there was an error of some other sort, but we're going to output that the file could not be open to read from. And um, the well, it's not the end of the file, just make sure that you know, we're not reading nothing from the file. So when it hits the end of the file, it stops reading. So let me do this um, else statement. Alright, there we go. Now that we have that little error there. Well, it's not really an error, but it's letting our users know that there has been an error. 
exact thing we're gonna do before we go ahead and type out um, the re actual reading from the file. We're gonna close this inside um, the if stream after the while is done. So same thing as um, writing to a file. It's just dot close. So read from file dot close. So now we're going to use, just like we did before, get line. And we're going to input the thing that we've read from into the read buffer. So our stream that we're reading from is um, read from file. And now we're putting that into read buffer. And then we're going to. Um, Output this to the user. We'll go ahead and put an end L after. Save like that. And to make sure the um, application doesn't automatically close, we're going to go ahead and use a cn.get. Oops. There we go. Little spelling mistake of mine. And there we go, it's as simple as that. So, if I typed all that out with any errors, what should happen is I should be prompted to give the file name and some text to um, save the file. Then it's going to save that to the file, close the connection to the um, right file stream, and then reopen the file and output what I just typed. So let's go ahead and go find it in my debugging area. So I can go ahead and show you guys that it's creating a file. Go ahead and make this a bit smaller. So we can see. So, what did I name this? Ah, here we go. Oh, there it is. Guess I'm a bit blind today. And it's in here. So we're gonna go ahead and build this to make sure that we have no errors. Hey, okay, what do you know? I don't have any errors. It's good. So now we'll go ahead and debug. So file name. We'll call it test.txt. And see, it didn't automatically accept our enter as input for the text, so that's good. Um, we'll just use hello world. And there we go. Now if you noticed, test.txt has just been created and it has the text hello world and it just outputted hello world to us well there we go guys that's our small application we did that in about 12 minutes not too bad but now you know how to open and read to a file and write to a file so thanks for watching guys if you need help with anything don't be afraid to head over to infinitylogic.net. We're always willing to help, and if you have an idea for a project and want to start up a team, we're always willing to help you with that too. So again, thanks for watching, and head over to infinitylogic.net.